What would the all MLB teams look like in years past? That's what we'll do for Retro MLB, selecting a first team only, and just like they do now, there will be one choice at catcher, first base, second base, shortstop, third base, and DH, where we'll adjust the rules and allow that to be any position player. Also, three outfielders, regardless of specific position, five starting pitchers, and two relievers. First up, 1980. At first base, we have Cecil Cooper of the Milwaukee Brewers with an MLB best 122 RBIs. Second base, the Yankees' Willie Randolph. He led baseball with 119 walks. Shortstop, Milwaukee's Robin Yount, a 23 home run season. Third base is where we have the toughest choice by far. Both MVPs came from here. Mike Schmidt of the Phillies, George Brett of the Royals. Slightest of edges goes to Brett, batting 390, but also an on-base percentage of 455 and a staggering OPS plus of 203. Outfielders, Ricky Henderson of the A's makes it with the first of many 100 plus stolen base seasons. Joining him are Kansas City's Willie Wilson, an elite speedster in his own right, and Milwaukee's Ben Ogilvy, who led the AL with 41 home runs. The catcher is the Expo's Gary Carter, his first 100 RBI season and his first Gold Glove Award. For DH, we'll give Mike Schmidt his reprieve, plus it would seem nuts not to have him among the best players this season. NL MVP, World Series MVP, also a terrific fielder at third base. Starting pitchers, Steve Carlton of the Phillies heads the rotation, 286 strikeouts and 304 innings pitched, both the highest in the majors. Mike Norris of Oakland, a 149 ERA plus. Dodger lefty Jerry Royce with six shutouts. Larry Gura, the best pitcher statistically for the American League champions. And the AL Cy Young winner, Steve Stone of Baltimore. Our bullpen features the Phillies' Tug McGraw and the Yankees' Goose Gossage, with Dan Quisenberry of the Royals as an honorable mention. And that's our all-MLB team for 1980.